The ideas expressed in the following presentations are those of the speakers and do not necessarily reflect the views of ACI or its committees. ACI web sessions are recorded at ACI conventions or other concrete industry events and will be made available for viewing free of charge for one week. Thereafter, they will be archived on the ACI website or added to ACI's online CEU program depending on their content. You can earn continuing education credits through ACI's online CEU program. Visit www.concrete.org to register. ACI conventions provide an opportunity for networking and for keeping up to date with the latest in concrete technology and practices. Next up, we have uh, Deepak Kanatkar from Kembon Chemicals Limited. Please welcome Deepak to the uh, to the podium. Thank you, David, and good afternoon to everyone. Yeah, my topic today is regarding the combinations of polycarboxylates and lignosulfonates. Uh, basically, both are the industry workhorses. And we know that uh, they are being used. They are being used everywhere in the world. Uh, basically, uh, we are talking about uh, mainly two things. One is the cost reduction based on the combination, and second, second is the synergy of the combination, which is useful in getting good concrete mixes. The outline is uh, as, as it goes: sustainable concrete, materials for concrete admixtures combinations of lignosulfonates and an experimental work followed by the results and discussions and conclusions. I just try to define concrete in a different way. So it's basically a combination of materials, resources and then technology and manpower. So let's go to the sustainable concrete. How to make sustainable concrete? Many people have talked and thank you very much because uh, this is the last lecture and I have got uh, all the references from them. So basically, uh, we have to optimize the materials. We have to recycle the waste and do a good waste management. Innovation in materials and processes, as well as improvement in and optimization of structures. So this is how probably sustainability in concrete and concrete production can be achieved. So what is the role of concrete admixtures here? Basically, Everybody knows that reduced cement will, you know, give uh, reduced CO2 emissions and admixtures will contribute there. Increase in workability retentions, that means uh, reduced rejections and less of repairs. Increase in compressive strength due to, uh, sorry, increase in compressive strength will reduce the element mass and reduced water by binder, binder ratio will reduce the permeability. So this is how the concrete admixtures contribute to sustainability. Uh, we'll talk about three materials here because the study concentrates on polycarboxylates and on lignosulfonates. We'll talk also about the naphthalene sulfonate because we have compared our, uh, you know, combinations of uh, lignosulfonate and polycarboxylate with that of the combinations of SNF and the lignosulfonates. So basically, lignosulfonate is uh, a green and sustainable chemical. These uh, figures are from Beauregard. And what they say is carbon content of lignosulfonate is 400 grams per kilogram. Actually, th this 400 gram per kilogram comes from 1.5 kilo carbon dioxide, which is absorbed from the moisture, uh, from the atmosphere. Uh, it has steric and electrostatic repulsion. And basically, the diagram below mostly, you know, gives indication of the polycarboxylates, but I am indicating that also lignosulfonate has steric repulsion ability. Naphthalene sulfonate, everybody knows, made from naphthalene and sulfuric acid and is good for concrete up to 60 megapascals, generally, compat uh, generally compatible with lignosulfonates, but not with the polycarboxylate ethers. Polycarboxylate ethers, they have got excellent dispersion capabilities steric repulsions and then SCC and high strength concretes are possible using polycarboxylate ethers. Dosage is very sensitive and compatibility with retarders and deformers is critical 
and they give opportunity because of the you know different polymer structures and different uh, type of polymers available uh, they give opportunity to uh, make them uh, you know use them in combination with different cements as well as different alternative or supplementary cementitious materials so this is now for the combinations main aspects of this study were in involved you know to check the synergies costs uh, versatility forming tendency compatibility workability strength development and cement compatibility we have used calcium lignosulfonate and sodium lignosulfonate combinations with uh, water reducing type polycarboxylate the results are compared with snf and lignosulfonate combinations uh, we have used sodium lignosulfonates from two different sources polycarboxylates from three different sources and calcium lignosulfonate from single source and we have conducted concrete uh, studies at two different dosages so this is part of experimental work actually there are 12 combinations this is the concrete proportion 0.3 is the water cement ratio or water binder ratio sorry this is the combined gradation now we will go to all the samples one by one this is the first sample actually our study involves three combinations of pcwr1 which is one uh, polycarboxylate with 50 50 uh, lignosulfonate and sorry 50 lignosulfonate and 50 polycarboxylate 75 lignosulfonate and 25 polycarboxylate and then 75 polycarboxylate and 25 lignosulfonate and plus it will have 50 50 combinations of pcwr1 that is another type of polycarboxylate water reducing type and then 50 50 combination of pcwr3 which is another which is the third polycarboxylate as well as we have used a combination of slump re retention and water re water reducing type uh, polycarboxylate and then water reducing type polycarboxylate and slump slump reducing type polycarboxylate on their own so this is the first one here it is a 50 50 combination of uh, polycarboxylate water reducing type and uh, sorry it, this is a uh, first combination is the combination of uh, water reducing and slump retention type polycarboxylate and you can see that uh, the workability is there for for, for about 3 and 1/2 hours it gives about uh, more than 100 slump uh, compressive strength you can see at around 70 plus on 28 days and on uh, first day it is around 18 uh, 17 to 18 again we have checked the compatibilities it is uh, uh, by two aspects one is no separation up to one month and then stability in the viscosity of the mix so here it is stable because basically it is a polycarboxylate mix uh, sample 2 is a 50 50 combination of uh, lignosulfonate which is uh, sourced from south africa and then uh, you can see again the compatibility is uh, good separation was not there and the viscosity is stable over a period of time uh, physical properties are given and then the workability as you can see this has uh, it, it was studied in two dosages at 0.7 we did not get enough workability whereas at 0.9 we could see that the workability was almost there till 2 and 1/2 hours of 100 slump compressive strength wise again uh, if you see the compressive strengths are uh, at 0.7 dosages uh, are around 65 to 66 whereas it has reduced a bit to around 62 at 0.9% dosage sample 3 is a combination which is uh, 25% of the pc and 75% of the sodium lignosulfonate from again the uh, south african origin and the results are not as good as expected for, for the slum but the uh, strength results are quite okay sample 4 is again uh, now we have reversed the combination we have 75% of the pce and 25% of the sodium lignosulfonate again from the south african origin and you can see that the workability has been retained almost up to 3 and 1/2 hours at 0.9% dosages and even at 0.7% dosages around 1 hour retention is possible compressive strengths are again uh, around 64 65 uh, with 0.7% dosages and around 62 to 63 at 0.9% dosages sample 5 is uh, a calcium lignosulfonate blend at 50 50 of polycarboxylate and calcium lignosulfonate and then again you see that at 50 50 uh, the workability retention is not 
too too good up to 1 hour only uh, strength wise it almost uh, you know uh, is similar to that of the uh, sodium lignosulfonate 50 50 combination sample 6 actually is uh, uh, sodium lignos uh, sodium lignosulfonate from russia this is a 50 50 combination and we have tried to compare it with the first uh, sample of uh, south african origin and the result of uh, mostly the slump retention as well as the compressive strengths are similar then we have uh, tried another uh, you know source of polycarboxylate which is wr2 and this is again a 50 50 combination with the south african lignosulfonate uh, we can see that uh, again the slump retention on on the 0.7 was not good and compared to the first one was uh, not up to the mark at all uh, whereas at 0.9 it was uh, slightly improved uh, but still not as good as the uh, uh, first combination compressive strength wise again it was good at 0.7 around 64 65 and at uh, 0.961 62 sample eight uh, we have tried another polycarboxylate water reducing type uh, at again 50 50 uh, combination and here we see some improvement uh, and it's it's almost you know equivalent to the uh, first one which we we did with the wr1 slightly less workability but still i think it's around 2 uh, hours we can see 100 slump here again this uh, strengths are almost in the range of 60 uh, 62 for the 0.7 and around 60 or 59.5 something at 0.9 percent dosage sample 9 has uh, lignosulfonate and uh, so, uh, snf mix and as you can see this is a 42 percent solution so it is a 50 50 mix and then another mix is sorry this uh, this mix has uh, again uh, as you can see the water cement ratio was 0.3 so at that ratio generally the uh, problem with the snf and ligno mix is they don't generally retain as well as the initial slump is very low uh, even both the dosages did not work out and uh, the slump was around 80 at 1 hour for the 0.9% dosage uh, for the second mix almost same Uh, there is no change in the uh, slump retention pattern and uh, compressive strength wise it was less than the polycarboxylate but basically i think the 0.9% dosage uh, achieved something more than the 0.7% dosage which was a bit surprise to us uh, sample 11 again uh, this was a pure pc wr1 we wanted to see the performance of wr1 against the combination as well as the uh, combination of uh, uh, slump retention type pc and here again we get good slump retention at 0.7% dosages the strengths are around 64 65 sample 12 again uh, you can see this is a water retention type and this is also given almost similar slumps and uh, probably slightly higher than the wr1 the compressive strengths at 0.7% uh, dosages are better than the uh, wr type pc which is around 66 67 so let's go to uh, setting times at 0.7% dosages you can see uh, setting times are quite favorable and they meet generally the uh, standard stmc 494 type g at 0.9% dosage also almost you can see that uh, maximum maximum retention is around 3 hours, sorry uh, uh, retardation is around 3 hours so that means uh, this concrete is workable uh, this is a combination of uh, all the workability uh, graphs what we have seen before and here you can see at 0.7% dosage yes all this polycarboxylate based ones uh, that is the green one is 12 that is the slump retention type and the uh, uh, dark uh, purple one that is the uh, normal wr1 and the uh, combination of wr1 and sr1 are giving very good workabilities at the same time number 4 and uh, that is the i think 75 25 combination is also giving a good uh, slump uh, slump curve there at point 9 we have not again uh, you know done this 1 uh, 11 and 12 because it was not required and here we can see a very clear difference like 75 25 combination is giving this 3 and 1/2 hours and compared to the other two combinations of 2 uh, and then 6 are also working well there compressive strength again this is the combination so i think we have seen before the compressive strengths are quite good for most of the combinations
and at 0.9% slightly reduced, but still more than 60. Uh, actually, we did some marsh cone results uh, for determining the uh, uh, dosages required. So we came to conclusion that at 0.7%, generally the PCs and the 75-25 uh, combinations were work, working well, uh, whereas for the uh, remaining combinations, we required 0.9% to achieve the same viscosity as well as the time. This is the air content. Again, as I said before, the uh, because of the low water cement ratio and low dosages, their content also remains stable. We have, of course, used a deformer that I have not uh, shown in the formulation. There was about 0.2% EOPO-based deformer used. And uh, even for the uh, SNF-based, we use the same deformer. So results and discussions. Uh, we have established the compatibility of uh, PCWR and LS combinations in all the combinations what we have done. Uh, at 25%, at 25 degrees centigrade, both 0.7 and 0.9 percent dosages are very near to the requirement of ASTMC 494 type G setting times. Uh, the do, uh, as the dosage is low, retardation is under control and 0.7, uh, at 0.7 percent, uh, PCWR and PCSR and their combinations have given good workability re retention. Whereas 50-50 combination of PCWR and sodium lignosulfonate uh, has given good initial workability, but the slump drops quickly after 30 minutes. This is for the 0.7 percent. Then again, PCWR and uh, NALS combinations, 75-25, uh, retain slightly better than 50-50 combinations. 0.9%, uh, at 0.9 percent, both PCWR and sodium lignosulfonate as well as calcium lignosulfonate have provided good retention. Uh, sodium lignosulfonate combinations, of course, are better than the calcium lignosulfonate combination. PCWR and sodium lignosulfonate combinations of 75-25 combinations have given better slump retention. Uh, and it is obvious that the uh, sodium lignosulfonate and uh, the uh, SNF combinations are nowhere near the PCWR and NALS combinations. And this could be because of a very wa low water cement ratio, which was used at 0.3. Uh, for compressive strengths, uh, best compressive strengths were achieved at 0.7%, which is obvious. Uh, compressive, uh, the at 0.7% dosages, pure PCEs, followed by 75-25 PCE and Ligno and 50-50 PCE combination. This is how the compressive strengths have come. At 0.9% dosage, 75-25 PCE, uh, as we have not, uh, you know, checked for the WR and uh, SR combinations. So 75-25 PCE followed by the 50-50 uh, combinations have given good strength results. Uh, and most importantly, 75-25 PCWR and NALS combinations have given better strengths than the 75-25 combination of sodium lignosulfonate and uh, SNF. Air content uh, was uh, also under control. So in conclusions, again, combinations of uh, polycarboxylates with lignosulfonates will add a significant value to concrete sustainability. We are talking about cost here, first of all, of combinations and also the synergy which they are offering, basically. Uh, lignosulfonate has got good compatibility with all the PC molecules used in the, stu used in the study. Polycarboxylate and LS combinations are most desirable, where SNF and LS combinations fail or require higher dosages. Uh, the synergy of polycarboxylate and LS combinations have opened up an excellent option for concrete, uh, concrete admixture formulation, uh, formulators. Good workability retention and comparatively higher strengths achieved suggest that significant cost and material savings may be obtained using uh, poly, uh, polycarboxylate and lignosulfonate combinations. So this is the work in progress. Uh, we are studying combinations with GGBFS now, and we are also checking some other polycarboxylate molecules for compatibility. Also, uh, further studies will be taken up for long-term compatibility and compatibility of various cement types uh, at higher dosages and at higher water by cement ratios as well. Acknowledgements, ACI of course, and uh, my organization, as well as some contributors like Borigard and the Ultratech Cement from India. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you again.